Hey guys, it's only me. I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video and show you a few trinkets that I've got laying around. Uh, most of them I've had for some time, uh, but a couple of them I picked up recently. Um, first thing is this Pelican box. Uh, I really like these. Uh, they're perfectly waterproof. Um, got a really airtight lock on them and you could submerge something uh, completely underwater in this and find it perfectly dry when you got it out. Um, also just a few trinkets I've got here. One is this little CRKT knife. Really odd looking knife uh, in this plastic frame uh, which also acts as a sheath. You just pull it off the pin there and that's your sheath and it's a chisel grind I can't read the name on that even with me glasses on but there it is there a uh, really nice little unusual looking blade and I bought that many many years ago I don't really use it it just uh, sits around but I like it anyway um, also I have got a bullet of some sort. I have no idea what caliber this is. Again, I can't see that even with my glasses on. Uh, if anyone knows what that is, maybe you can tell me in the comments what caliber that is. Uh, also have a handcuff key. Never know when you might need one. I have two little um, stone arrow tips. Uh, I bought a product from an online shop and they give you some freebies and this is what I got. I don't know what I would do with them but they're nice anyway. Uh, also my little Leatherman Juice S2. A uh, really handy little tool to have because you can um, just keep it in your money pocket. It's no, you don't even notice it there. Uh, it has got screwdrivers and a couple, a little knife and a couple other things on the side. But most of the time, I find myself just using the pliers come in handy for different little jobs. Um, but it does have a half decent little blade there as well. Uh, as I said, a couple of screwdrivers and stuff. Um, also, I was at a local market and I picked up this ring. Um, it is the Institute Philippine Marines. Um, yeah, so got it at a really good price so I picked it up I uh, don't really wear it um, it would only fit on my small finger um, and really I wear these two rings and my wedding ring so I don't really get around to wearing it but for the price I picked it up thought for I just thought it was nice um, also this thingy here I found in the street I have no idea what it is, but I'm hoping I can sell it for a bazillion dollars on eBay or somewhere. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's come out of a shell clam or something. Um, decent size, as you can see. And if anyone knows what that is or where it comes from, let me know. But to me, just the shape of it makes me think that it's come out of a clam or a, I don't know. An oyster or something. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show you was I bought this little tiny hatchet many years ago. It's a Topps hatchet uh, FDX. Uh, I really like it. I get a lot of use out of it and even though it's only small um, I use it often as I said just chopping up little tiny bits of kindling uh, for me Kelly Barrett stove or anything. Um, when I'm making a fire and then recently um, online uh, shop I buy um, an online shop in Queensland 
I spotted this one here with the um, I think that's G10 handle uh, exactly the same as that one but just with the G10 handle but so much more comfortable to use uh, and it was half price so um, yeah picked it up just because as I said the handle's so comfortable you don't get the hot spots that you do with that one uh, I might try and paracord wrap that one at some stage but yeah nice little hatchet easy to uh, keep sharp because it's uh, 1095 carbon steel and um, I'm a huge fan of tops all right um, the one last thing I've got is this new money clip which is magnetized um, my mum gave me that and you can put a card of ID or something in the back there and some small bills all right that's about it for today uh, thanks for watching and take care bye bye